Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to continue our previous discussion on foreign currency valuation program. The main area of today is to focus on treatment of unrealized gain or losses. Unrealized gain losses are uh, temporary gain losses uh, shown in our financial statement if there is a period closing between the due entry and the payment entry or due entry or a receipt entry, etc. Uh, so I hope uh, you guys are fine or clear with the concept of unrealized gain or losses. Uh, direct, let's directly move on to backend con configuration, how the unrealized gain and losses uh, will configure in SAP. So I'm not explaining you the concept. Uh, please refer the previous session for detailed example. Now the program, uh, the valuation program uh, that we run for uh, foreign currency valuation, for that we need to do a backend configuration. Let's go to our configuration screen, ISPRO. Then reference IMG, SAP reference IMG. Under this, financial accounting, journal ledger, periodic processing, valuate. Now, there are few steps. These are uh, four to five steps that are mentioned here. These are the steps we need to follow. Uh, in order uh, to do the configuration. So first, what we need to do is to define a valuation method. Now, this valuation method uh, have everything uh, that we need in, uh, in order to do the processing or a periodic processing for foreign currency transactions. So I've already made my uh, valuation method that is 1812 uh, you can do it by adding a new entry from this from this uh, option now my valuation method is 1812 this is a unique key that we need to give then give a description now valuation principle uh, the valuation principle uh, can be a uh, lowest value principle strict value strict lowest value principle, always evaluate, revalue only. Uh, this we can do on the basis of uh, a requirement of our client. So I have, uh, right now I have put or, a, or check in, always evaluate. Then I want my method to post per line item. The document type is SA. I'm not uh, uh, giving it a specific role. I'm not assigning it to a specific vendor group or a customer. I'm not picking any of this because I want, uh, while running my program, uh, I can enter any of the given field. The next is a ra exchange rate determination. So I have uh, given M as my exchange rate as this is my standard average rate. Then determine exchange rate type from account balance. I've checked in this. So uh, I have defined a valuation method. Now what I need to do is to set an area. Define a valuation area. Valuation area is nothing, just a key. And uh, with the key, I need to assign my valuation method. So by do going to a new entry, I can assign a valuation. This is just a key. Uh, it can be a numeric or alphanumeric or uh, in alphabets. Then I can assign my valuation method. Then have to give my currency type. I have already done it. I'll show it to you. Like I have given 18 as my valuation. My valuation method that we previously defined is 1812. And my currency type was 10. 10 is for 10 is my company code currency. Right. Uh, the next is uh, let's check the assignment of accounting principle to ledger. 
this is uh, already configured uh, while while assigning my ledger group uh, uh, there was the option like we already had an option to assign accounting principal i will show it to you while it is opening we'll just uh, configure the remaining part so uh, uh, the point of explaining you this part is that my accounting principal is already assigned to my ledger group while doing our ledger settings we assigned our company to our specific ledgers and under that we also assigned the accounting principles so i have not done any configuration under this this is automatically or pre assigned C one eight one two. My accounting principal was also one eight one two, and uh, it is assigned to my target ledger group that is zero L. I'm maintaining only one ledger for my company that is leading ledger. Let us see. It is still opening. Okay, the next thing what we need to do is to assign a valuation area to the accounting principal. So our valuation area is 18 and our accounting principal is 1812. Our valuation method is also 1812. So everything is aligned now. I have made one valuation method. Then I assign that to valuation area and now valuation area is assigned to my accounting principal. That means the method I have defined, it is automatically assigned to my accounting principal. And this accounting principal is already assigned to my ledger group that is leading ledger 0L and my company fall under this ledger group. So uh, everything is in consensus, right? This is the backend configuration that we need to do. Uh, now let's go and post some entries. Let's do some accounting entries uh, under financial accounting, accounts payable, document entry. Let's do entry in F-43. I am doing some backdated entries and my currency is USD. Also, uh, let's see what is my USD rate assign um, currently exist. So by going to o OB08, we can see the conversion rate that we have assigned for M. Currency is USD to INR. And check. So we are doing entry in September. So for September, there is no uh, latest. Uh, for September, no uh, latest rate is assigned. So the last rate assigned is 176 2022 uh, at rupees 80. So hopefully the entry would fetch this 80 rupee per dollar. Let's do the transaction now. Let's do a transaction of rupees $300. I want to change my payment term. Thank you. 
let's simulate the document so a 300 dollar entry i have to post now let's post so my entry number 1913 is posted let's open i've uh, exceeded my GUI sessions let's close one of the session Let's open one session. See the transaction in FBL one N. Execute. So my 300, uh, this, uh, this is my document. The latest document that is posted is for uh, $24,300. 300 into uh, 80 is 24,000 rupees. So now this is my latest document that is posted. I also have this one another document. So now let's see uh, if... Uh, my uh, foreign currency valuation program is properly configured or not we'll just go back and uh, see how the program run now under accounting we have financial accounting journal ledger under journal ledger we have periodic processing then closing under closing we have valuate and under valuate we have country specific function we have fagl underscore fcv that is foreign currency valuation 1812 is my company code my valuation area is 18 then our open item account is Let do, let's do the test run. And before doing the test run, let's see uh, by 80 it is posting. Let's change or give or assign a new quote. So our last quote was 17.6.2022 and then there is this 5.10 quote is also available. That is for 78 rupees. Let's see that uh, it is considering or not for the valuation purpose. Execute. See, it is considering. Uh, so now I uh, the last entry that we posted is for $300. Uh, the amount is coming out to be 24,000 rupees. The exchange rate was 80 rupees, but now it is revalued revalued at 78 rupees so uh, there is a difference uh, 600 this is a gain amount and if we see the postings there will be two postings that will be done one for considering the gain and the other one is a reversal reverse entry so that uh, everything will be cleared right so this is how my entry is going to be posted uh, my F in uh, journal ledger. So this was my foreign currency valuation program. There are a few basic settings that are required. And there is this one program that we need to learn or we need to execute. 
uh, at every periodic intervals. So that's all uh, for today. Thank you all for listening.